Hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. <laughs> well, Johans would like to know, uh, what is your take on a bottled startup uh, using, you know, the bacteria? bacteria yes, yeah, all that. Oh, gee. Which they usually recommend when you have a new tank and you're starting it up and you want to add some bacteria to kickstart the system. Yeah, I think that's, that's the valid thing to do. Get the, the bacteria in a bottle, though, is different. Bacteria in a bottle is anaerobic. It is not aerobic bacteria. So the minute you pour that into the tank, what you're actually pouring in is essentially dead material that has to go through the process of deteriorating and creating bacteria and in order. So you're, you're kind of starting, you're starting at the wrong end. The best way to, to culture start a tank is with a, a, a layer of, of uh, sand, gravel, whatever, from an existing tank. And if you, if you don't have any, ask your fish store to give you, if they've got a nice tank, to give you a little bit. It doesn't take much, just a little bit of sand or gravel or whatever they've got from an existing tank. And then sprinkle that lightly on the top of your tank. That works better than anything else. If you also can bring in driftwood, rocks, other uh, hardscape plants, all of those things from existing tanks, from other tanks and bring them into your system, you're gonna be bringing bacteria in that way as well. And don't be afraid to bring water in from an existing tank. Now I know everybody recommends you never put water that's in the bag with your fish in your tank. And I might, I think it depends entirely on where that water comes from, entirely. If, if you know it's coming out of your friend's fish tank and he's got a healthy tank, by all means, put it in your new tank because it's going to be bringing life in that's in that water that will help culture your tank. So, no, I do not approve of bottled bacteria I think, frankly, it's like bagged live sand. It's a, it's dead sand. It's not live sand. It's anaerobic. It's not aerobic. And if you sprinkle it on your tank to create live culture, all you're doing is peeing in your tank and waiting around for 30 days for all that ammonia you've dumped in there to be converted to nitrite. Like traits, I should say. Uh, better, better to start at the end of the process by putting live, live, live culture in, not dead live culture. Well, and knowing that plants do enjoy being, you know, fed from ammonia, the plants might like that then. <laughs> yeah, but that's a slow process. They, they don't gobble it all up in an hour. Right. It can take weeks or months for a plant to substantially reduce the ammonia level in a tank. Don't depend on that to control ammonia. Uh, it will control it in very, very minuscule amounts. If you put a huge amount of ammonia, if a fish dies and you miss it, leave it in there or, or whatever happens, plants aren't going to be able to clear that up in the first day or two. It's gonna take them a long time to do it. So don't, um, you know, don't don't depend on that. Don't feel like, you know, you can start out with a, a heavily ammoniated tank and expect it's gonna be cleared up by a bunch of plants in the first day or two. It will not. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice to have you with us. Come on back.